What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we'll be going over Q main window in PyQt6. Let's get right into it. Well, what exactly is Q main window? Well, Q main window is a widget in PyQt that is designed exclusively for handling window operations, so window features. So we're talking about menus, toolbars, status bars. These are all included within Q main window. So one of the essential features and widgets that we're gonna need in our main window is what Q main window provides. Now, here's the application, the program that we did last video. It's the exact same. And you can see that our, our main window here is Q push button. And we deem that this is not very practical and useful. So instead of Q push button, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import Q main window from the same class. And instead of Q push button, we're going to do Q main window. So Q main window is a widget, so we can use it as a window. All right, so if we run this, something special. We just have a, a blank window, but now we have a uh, Q main window. So all of the features within Q main window, we can use that for our window. Now there's not much going on with our program right now. And really to make use of the Q main window, and to expand upon and have control over our program, we're gonna to want to subclass it. And we're gonna use object oriented programming or inheritance to do that. Now, if you haven't checked out my series on object oriented programming, or if you're unfamiliar with object oriented programming, I suggest you check that out. If you're already familiar, that's perfect. We're just gonna move right on with this video. So we're gonna inherit from the QMain window class so we can use its features and extend its features to have more control over our program, okay? So let's do that right now. We're gonna create a class called app and we're going to inherit from a class. We're just gonna put the name of the class inside of these parentheses, all right? Now with every class, we're always gonna create an initialization method. So we're gonna define underscore in it and we don't need all of this, it just did that for me, but it did uh, already include some useful information. We're gonna use self as an argument, and we're also going to inherit from the initialization method of QMain window. So that's why we're using the super keyword to inherit from the parent, inherit from the initialization of the parent class. All right, so this is pretty standard object-oriented programming stuff, nothing special here. But now we have access to all of the, the features and methods within the QMain window class. So we're gonna make use of that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we can create our own title for our program. So here I'm going to do self, since we're referring to this instance of the, the application. And QMain window has a method called set window title. So we're gonna do self.set window title. This defines the title of our program. And this will go in the upper left-hand corner of the window. And we can pass a string as an argument. So this is what we want the title to be. And I'm going to pass our app. Okay. Looks good. Now, since we have our window and we have our, our main window here, we can actually place widgets onto, into, our, onto our window. So let's do that now. I still have... Q push button imported. So I'm going to do button equals Q push button. And with Q push button, we can actually pass a string as an argument, which we didn't do last video. So this would just be the text that's within the button. So I'm going to do Q push button. I'm just going to say press me. All right. Now to actually place this widget, as I mentioned in the last video, we have to, we have to, we have to place our widgets onto the screen. So to do that, for this video, we're just going to do self.setCentralWidget. So all set central widget is doing is it's placing this button in the middle of the, the window. Okay? So this is our central widget. It is our main widget. Okay? And that's really it for our, our class. So all we're doing here is we're inheriting all, everything from the QMade window class. We're setting a title. We're creating a button, which is a widget, and we're just putting the button on the screen, okay? Now, outside of this class, we don't have to change much. Our window here 
It's not Q-made window anymore. It is actually app. So app turns into our window. And remember app is us is inherited from the Q-made window class. So app is our window now and we still have to show it. And we're just executing our event loop here. Okay, so now let's run this program. And you can see that we have our title of our program in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. And we also have a button that doesn't do anything yet, but it does say press me in the middle. And yeah, so our next video, we're gonna actually talk about signals and slots where we can add functionalities to our widgets, such as this button here. And that would do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.